So to end up with bright red snakes, you firstly start off with a chemical called carminic acid, which comes from the cochineal insect. And here they are, only the females apparently, the males fly away because they've got wings, and they're about half a centimetre across, like so. And then you grind them up, and here we go, ancient technology, grindy, grind them up, and then you end up with this sort of blood red powder, and you get the blood red powder, and you chuck it in the water, and here we go, and suddenly you get this, wow, now that is an intense red. And then you find that you can dye clothes, and we've been doing that for the last 2,000 years, and use this to make bright red lipstick, and of course, our friend, the bright red lolly. Cochineal bugs are native to Central and South America, but that doesn't mean we don't find them here in Australia. The cochineal was first brought out in some of our early settlers to harvest the red dye from it, particularly for things like making the old red uniforms and that sort of thing. Today, Matt Westover is using our little red friends for an entirely different purpose, as a bioweapon against some spiky invaders. Prickly pear and other cactus species have been a massive problem in Australia for quite a long time. It has quite serious impacts around biodiversity and out-competing native vegetation. The cochineal bug is a, it's a tiny little sap-sucking insect. The beauty of them is, is they're really prolific breeders and they're a fantastic tool that we've got to control cactus. We'll, over time, just slowly eat its way through it and slowly suck the life out of it. So the white waxy compound is sort of like a housing that they make for a bit of protection and, and shelter on the plant. Cane toads are proof that using animals to control pests can be very risky. Luckily, cochineal don't come with that drawback. The cochineal, especially in terms of biocontrol, is really refined to be really host specific. So there's no risk at all from, say, this beetle getting onto some succulents that you might have, and even from pest species to pest species. It's even refined for you know, prickly pear or like this one with devil's rope. And the beauty of cochineal is it does spread itself throughout the landscape. They do get dispersed by wind. Um, so they do, yeah, make their own way around. Putting the cochineal to work couldn't be easier. So to spread the cochineal, all we do is take an infested piece of material. We take it out to a healthy plant and simply place it on and then they'll slowly spread onto that new plant and work their way through it. And over hopefully 12 or 18 months time, we'll start to see them really spread across this plant and hopefully kill it. So far, the results have been promising. This hillside outside Port Augusta was covered in prickly pear, but now the grey skeletons of cacti dot the landscape. What we have here is the cochineal beetle at work on a prickly pear plant. And as you can see, it's working its way through the cactus. So we've got a bit of dried up, pretty dead material, and it's slowly spreading throughout the, the remainder of the plant. Over the past year, the cochineal have begun their munch fest across an 11,000 square kilometre patch of South Australia, which will surely be making the cacti there tremble in their roots. G'day, Dr. Carl here, and thanks for watching. Did you enjoy it? Of course you did. We're always making and releasing new science content on ABC Science YouTube channel. And don't forget, subscribe and like. Bye.